everybody, Dr. Derek Alessi, and I know I've been talking about how we're reopening and how we've been given the go-ahead by New York State, only at the 11th hour to have them change their mind and put us on hold, which is, of course, extremely upsetting and disappointing. And I wanted to send out a quick video right now, and if you've been following along my emails in the video, I'm just trying to keep you up to speed on everything that we're doing. And when people come to see me, they're looking to lose weight, drop body fat, and get in better shape. And I've been doing that for 26 years. It started, of course, as just a passion of helping, helping people get in better shape, wanted to look better, feel better, get into smaller clothes. And then it went into something much more than that, especially working with people with higher blood sugar, blood pressure, people with thyroid disorder, triglyceride problems, different type of medical issues. And now it's taken a different shape yet again, where it's all of those things, but at the same time, it's about immune system and function. And if your immune system isn't good because of underlying conditions or without the proper exercise and without the proper nutrition, you're going to be compromised in today's day and age. So I wanted to send that out. That's always been my message. And I like to talk about different aspects of that. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to really operate now, one half of my business, because my business code is other business services and not health clubs and gymnasiums, as a nutritionist, I'm able to see people. In fact, I've been doing client consultations for the past week or so, and I've met with about 90 people. And of those 90 people, like 88 are ready to start tomorrow. They want to start right away. We have updated their medical. We have updated their body composition and their body fat. We have done all of the checklists that the state puts out there, asking the questions, doing the temperature checks. Even above and beyond that, I've been doing pulse oximetry to measure pulse oxes to see if there's any type of issue. We have been going through all of the procedures, all of the disclosures to make sure that it's being handled properly. The exercise component, though, is still on hold. It's still in limbo. So I mentioned it before. I did consult with a bunch of attorneys, and I am going forward with a suit against the state. In fact, I have attached it to this email. Here is the claim. At this point, New York State is uh, preventing and it's discriminatory against business practices and labor practices, both in the state and the U.S. Constitution. I really believe that there should be a distinction between how this entire thing is rolled out. I don't know how this group, and it's not just, of course, fitness. I understand that there are shopping malls that are also part of this, but how every group is every business is able to operate right now except for those which is absolutely mind-boggling and with some of these explanations i got to be honest with you air conditioning is in every office in fact it's in the governor's office air conditioning's in lowe's and in home depot and in walmart if it's a problem in one place it's going to be a problem in more than one place and then in addition to that how about the hvac or the heat like that's not blowing things even in the winter time it's only ac it doesn't really make sense and i don't want to go down that rabbit hole that was never my intention my intention is to get back up and rolling again and get people back into a groove in the meetings that i've done yes without question and i'll put the stats down below that people have gained weight and they've lost health now i'm not blaming anybody and none of it was a comparison but it's really difficult especially when you're trying to do the right things when it's even harder to do it because you're prevented from a big aspect of it which of course is the fitness aspect and also to meeting with somebody coaching and with the evaluations myself and my team we work with people really between the ages of 40 to 75 66 percent have at least one underlying condition. Maybe it's heart disease, maybe it's diabetes, maybe it's thyroid, autoimmune, MS, asthma. There's a lot of them and almost 50% have two or more. So we want to make sure that we're managing things properly. Yes, the right diet. Yes, the right exercise. And of course, the glue that holds it all together and what I call the keys to the kingdom is accountability. And we track for ongoing success to make sure that we're moving in the right direction. So that is going forward right now. I wanted to get you up to speed. I'm putting in that notice as we speak right now. And hopefully we're able to get some fair consideration in terms of when and how we can operate and go back to work. It has been long enough. I think myself included, but I'm speaking for others here. We're sick and tired of sitting back right now and not being able to do what we need to do. 
I am absolutely bent on making sure that this happens. I want this to go forward. We got to get back to work, especially for people that are trying to improve. They're trying to improve the quality of their health and their life. So I'm going to keep you up to speed. Sorry about the length of this video. Hopefully today this video served you. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi asking you to make the most of your life and live it fit.